Hey everyone, welcome to part three. We're going to go ahead and wrap up this guitar. So let's go ahead and get started. What I'd like you to do is first copy this handle, or not copy, move it, move, enter. And we're just going to move, let's say, from this corner to the corner of this guitar, right over here. Click. And if you do that, it should snap right into place. Next, we're going to move the two sections of this away from each other. So I'm going to select this box as well as this one. And I'm going to use the move command to grab it from an edge and just move it down. And it doesn't really matter how far down you move it. We just need it to be down a little bit so that we can actually angle this rectangular profile here. To angle it, you just right click on the screen, go over to sub object, and then to edge. You click on the top edge, you're going to notice the red dot, and you grab that or you click on it once and you move it out and we type in a number. So like 0.4 units, enter, and you'll notice that now we have like this cool angled profile over here. We're going to do something very similar with the top. We're going to right click, sub object, but this time we're going to do the face. And this is just going to extend out the extrusion. Oops, you notice that one was still selected face. Except this time I'm going to click and I'm going to drag it out 0.4 units from the face. So these two are going to align perfectly with one another. Before we hook them back on though, let's go ahead and fuse these two blocks. To fuse things in AutoCAD, you have to use the union command, enter, and then you just click on the blocks that you want to fuse. And as long as they're connected in some way, like these two are, it fuses really nicely when you hit enter. Cool. I'm going to move that back up there using the move command. I'm just going to hook that corner back up with that. Oh, that corner. Let me adjust it a little bit more. Move this one up with this one. Perfect. And now we're going to add in that little handle that allows you to tune the guitar. It's going to take about three or so extrusions. The first one's coming down at an angle. So if I try to extrude this out right now, you're going to notice that there's not a sketch profile there, so I can't really extrude it. And I can draw one in, or we can hold down Control on the keyboard, and it's going to auto-generate a sketch profile for us. So if you click, left click, and then you hit Enter, you're going to notice that it can generate a profile for us and if I type in like 0.4 units, enter, it's generated the extrusion for us as well. So that's just a nifty trick, something to know. And with that in place, let's go ahead and draw a rectangle. So how I usually would do something like this is use the rectangle tool, enter. I want to make sure I'm looking at this face. So I'm going to go from the center, wherever my little triangle is believe it up right over there and you're gonna see me draw it out but I'm not gonna draw it out the entire way I'm just gonna kind of like go from center to let's say here drop it down and then I'm going to like click on this and that little dot there I'm gonna stretch it out so that it takes maybe 1.2 1.1 units it doesn't have to be that big it just has to fit with the guitar cool I'm going to extrude that out, extrude, click on that, enter. Let's go with uh, three units or so. That looks good. And then let's look at the top view of the view cube. Top, whoops. And we're going to mirror it. So mirror, enter, select, enter click and you can see it being mirrored almost perfectly. <laughs> oh no. So that's probably not that good. Let's try one more time. For some reason it's not allowing me to click on the top of my view cube, which could be obviously problematic if you're trying to get a good mirror going. So I'm just going to kind of reposition it and give it another go. Mirror, select, enter. And then I need like a midpoint. 
let's try this, perfect. Click, and I'm not going to erase the source, and there we go. There's our handlebar. Press escape a few times, use the union tool, and we're going to connect these two together as well as that angled profile. So we have the, you know, the auto-tune part of the guitar. And then we're going to put those six little circles here that we usually hook strings to. And that should just be using the circle tool. Make sure you're on this profile and we're going to draw out a circle. And it doesn't have to be too big, let's say 0.18 units. So something like that. And that actually looks pretty good. Okay. I'm going to try and copy this now. So let me select that use the copy tool and I'm going to use this as a reference and you're going to notice right now that it's not quite allowing me to snap it where I want it so a trick when it's not working the way you want it to over here is your XYZ I want you to click on that you're going to notice that now it's selectable I want you to grab it from the center and move it over to this edge over here drop it down and you're going to see that it's all angled weird compared to the rest of this so what you need to do is kind of like snap it into place so that it makes sense. So I'm just kind of adjusting it. As soon as it <laughs> lets me click it. Perfect. So it looks something like that. And now I can use those lines as reference lines. Let's try again. Circle whoops, not circle, copy. And I'm going to run off the Z this time. I'm going to go, let's say, 0.7 units, 0.7, enter, and then maybe 1.4 units, enter. So I have three circles, so those are looking pretty good. I'm going to use the line tool, and I'm going to draw a line down the center like that and then I'm going to use the mirror tool I'm going to select these three circles and then I'm going to select that line and I'm going to mirror them over like that so that's looking really good let's go ahead and extrude those all out and let's go I would say probably maybe 0.4 units so they look something like that yeah that should give you enough space for all the strings and then let's fillet this entire handlebar as well as the back so fillet enter we're gonna select this profile whoops let me try that again fillet enter and I make sure it's at point two and you're just kind of going around now and selecting all the edges Did it really deselect all my edges? <laughs> I thought I turned that correct. 